OCR Warrior, men's knockout round number one. This is part two. We have two more guys going head to head. One gets knocked out and one goes home. My name is Aaron Brabson. I'm 32 years old and I'm born and raised in Texas. I'm a personal trainer for about four months. My son was diagnosed with a brain tumor about two and a half years ago and so he receives a lot of therapy. So with my personal training, I can really give back and like to see people hit goals that they never thought were um, they had to be able to do before. The first time, I knew a few mistakes I made. I knew I was going to be on the bubble, I didn't make it, I came back, I corrected those mistakes and got a better time. It was just the best feeling ever. Yeah! Yeah! I'm Aaron Brabson and I'm going to be the next OCR Warrior. My name is Jack Hennessy, I'm 19. I'm currently in the process of becoming a licensed massage therapist and I'm a competitive swimmer. I'm from San Antonio, Texas. I did my first obstacle course race in 2012. I got bit by the OCR bug and haven't been able to quit since. I've been a competitive swimmer since I was nine. Uh, once I'm finished with my swimming career, I'm going to be taking it up a lot more. I'm Jack Hennessy. I will be the next OCR warrior. Knockout round number one. These guys are going head to head. We're going to do this right now in three, two, one, go! The tail of the tape on these two athletes is pretty even. Both of them attacked the qualifying course three times in order to qualify. And their final times were only one second apart. They should be pretty familiar with the obstacles, but three times through this course also means they're both starting to get worn out. As a swimmer, Jack has an advantage in upper back strength, and it shows on Skull Valley. He's also willing to take some big risks, like he did here in his first round of qualifying. Aaron's a talented athlete with a lot of heart. Through Chang Gang, they are neck and neck. Can they keep up the pace? Find out next on OCR Warrior. OCR Warrior is brought to you by Ice Bug, Three Ball Climbing, Wreck Bag, X Racewear, Trail Toes, and OCR Gear. Welcome back to OCR Warrior. Jack Hennessy and Aaron Brabson are fighting it out side by side. They are so evenly matched, it's going to come down to who makes a mistake first. Aaron makes it to the second transition of Skull Valley first, but a bobble on the chain and a six foot reach by Jack gives him a slight advantage heading into the Punisher wall. Aaron has some hiccups here on the barrel hops. He misses the rail on the first one and then nearly runs around the second one. Jack has all the room he needs to climb the rope and touch the skull for victory. Reach, reach! Aaron's a little crushed. He wanted this so badly. Now he's just finishing for pride. We know from the Flash episode earlier that superheroes just don't play on OCR Warrior. Yeah. So this goes to you kids at home. If you're going to show up in a superhero outfit, might not be the best idea. You better bring it. Hey, you did a fantastic Thank job today. Qualifying was really something else. That was one of my favorite parts of the day. Great job, Appreciate brother. It. Hope to see you again out here. This guy, we know we're going to see you again because you, my friend, 
This guy right here, Jack Hennessy, has advanced to knockout round number two. Do you have enough in you to do this once again? Oh yeah. All right, we'll see you in about 10 or 15 minutes. Got the so. sweat, got the blood, now mm. for the glory. Here you go, brother. See you in a little bit. I'm Sterling Fry. I'm 17, and I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm not in football. I'm in a Ultimate Frisbee Club, and uh, I'm about to graduate. It's my first obstacle race. My dad did a Tough mutter and he encouraged me to do this with him, so I did. The thing I like most would be the hills. Hills were pretty easy, and I passed a lot of people on it. Felt pretty good. The worst part was having the sacks in your back and running with them. I uh, proved my time by 23 seconds. I'm Sterling Fry, and I'm going to be the next OCR Warrior. So I'm Jesse Daly, originally from Kansas City, Missouri, currently stationed at San Antonio at Fort Sam Houston, active duty Air Force. I am 26 years old. I've done about 10 races so far, and I've signed up for about 10 total this year so far. I just like the fact that you push yourself to the limit, you find that wall, and then you break through it, and you find a new wall to push through. You're stronger every day. My friends call me Jesse Everyday Daily, or Erday. Incorporated my last name as a lifestyle, eating right, doing something, mobility stuff. So I really use my last name as kind of like a lifestyle, something to do every day to make yourself better. I've been waiting to do something short like this, short and sweet. I'm Jesse Erday Daily. I'm your next OCR warrior. You know the rules, you know the course, you're fast, you're strong, you're agile. You're gonna tear up this thing right now. You ready for this? In three, two, one, go! Jesse has the strength, Sterling has the speed, and both crushed it in qualifying. Sterling took two passes to lock up his spot here in the knockout round. Sterling races out to a lead into Skull Valley, and oh, his hand slips off the center skull. He's got to restart from the beginning, and Jesse is already halfway through the obstacle. Jesse sees his opportunity and goes for it, takes a big swing, and then carries all that momentum through the rest of the three ball skull holds. Looking strong through Chain Gang, Jesse hits the turnaround first. They cross on the monkey bars, and Sterling knows he's got a lot of work to do if he wants to catch Jesse now that he's got a full head of steam. Sterling is starting to look gassed. That 50 pound wreck bag must feel like 100 right now. He's not a big guy, the pace and the obstacles are starting to wear him down. Jesse keeps rolling and Sterling is starting to lose focus and maybe throw in the towel. Jesse takes a look back and can't see anyone in his rearview mirror. He knows now it's a matter of finishing the last few obstacles and touching the skull for victory. Sterling finally gets his bearings on Skull Valley, but it's too late. He's heartbroken, but not willing to quit. Running on fumes, he reaches the end of his run.
you feel a little upset right now. Yeah. But there's a smile on your face because you know you gave that everything you had. Do you think maybe uh, tearing your finger up uh, in qualifying had anything to do with your grip strength? That's probably it. You weren't thinking about it. You are just going as hard as you could. Yeah. Brother, you did a fantastic job. You are fast, you are young, and I hope to see you again. Okay. Good job. Thanks, man. Good job, man. Hey, Jesse. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you busy over here? Can I, can I borrow yeah. you for a minute? Yeah. Um, did you have fun? Yeah. What was your favorite part of that? When I finished. <laughs> <laughs> the only bad part about you being done is now you've got to do it again. Right. I don't consider it bad. Just a little bit more effort now. Yeah. Well, there's going to be a lot more effort because this guy has moved on to knockout round number two. Go. Next week, it's time for our all-star ladies when the women take over Go. OCR Warrior. Four fast and furious females look to dominate the course in San Antonio. We'll see you next time on OCR Warrior.